What fact sounds legit, but is actually fake? The US $2 bill is no longer printed for circulation, and as such has been hoarded by collectors. Because it's been hoarded, it's extremely valuable. $2 bills are still being printed, though none will be printed in 2020 because there is enough supply of them to meet what little demand there is. Since they are hoarded by collectors, and money collectors are really the only people who want multiple $2 bills, there is almost no extra value in them. Basically, anyone who wants $2 bills has a stockpile of them already, and anyone who wants one and doesn't have one can easily get one from a collector or even a local bank. Since no extra value exists in them over their $2 face value, many hoarders are willing to part with a bill or two. If a baby bird falls out of a tree, touching it will make it smell human and cause the mum to abandon it. Not true. I've heard this is the same for a few animals, like rabbits. Is it a false statement for all animals? The problem is that some birds and most rabbits just aren't great parents. It might not be because of smell or any one thing, but it doesn't take a whole lot to spook a mother rabbit or bird away from their nest long enough to kill the babies. It's a quantity versus quality issue. Rabbits and deer will also only visit the nest twice per day to avoid attracting predators to the nest. It may look abandoned, but unless it's been 24 hours with no sign of a parent, you're probably just babysitting for them. Carbon monoxide is heavier than air, so put your detectors close to the floor. The first people to die of CO poisoning are the ones lying down. Reality. CO is about the same density as air. In fact, it is actually slightly lighter than air, so it doesn't matter where you put your detectors. This myth likely started because CO fatalities are most likely to occur while people are sleeping because they are not aware of the symptoms of poisoning, i.e. dizziness, nausea, etc., versus those who are awake. Also might come from animals being affected first, or little kids. It's not actually because they're closer to the ground, it's because they're smaller. Should be obvious, but might feed the myth. Today I learned. Keep small kids around as CO detectors. If you tell me the truth, you won't get in trouble. A cop to 16 year old me. Cops do this tactic to a lot of people. Or the classic, just write an apology letter. Suddenly they have a written confession. It's weird that this actually happens, it seems so innocent. I hate this mindset so much. If you're in a car accident, you can't admit wrongdoing because then you're completely effed. So the idiot who did a three lane switch and nearly killed us acted like, wow, how did that happen? Oh my gosh. Knowing that if he admitted to it, his insurance would screw him over and hurt him financially. But if he only admitted, we wouldn't have to hire lawyers for months to chase after his insurance to pay for my physical therapy. While I don't agree with it, I understand why you should always keep tight-lipped, even if that action screwed me over. Always wait 24 hours before reporting a missing person. This can actually be quite dangerous. Definitely don't wait a whole weekend. After 24 hours, the missing person's survival chances drop dramatically. NASA spent millions of dollars on a pen that could work in space, while the Russians just used a pencil. They didn't spend the money developing the pen, Fisher did, and then approached NASA. Also, they wanted a pen instead of a pencil, so there was less chance of graphite breaking off and getting into the electronics. What if they used a crayon? They actually did use grease pencils, which is basically a crayon. Also, the Russians eventually switched to the pen as well, since particles of graphite in zero-g are kind of a problem. Your eyes don't grow. They do actually grow, but they grow very slowly, like really slowly. By the time Grandpa turned 90, he had eyes in the back of his head. Ears too. Despite his selective hearing, Grandpa could be in his living room and still hear me whisper whiskey in the basement. On the US interstate system, it was designed so that at least one mile in every five miles was straight so that it could be used as a runway by the military in case of war. 
This was done to appease certain politicians that opposed the massive spending on the interstate project. It's almost like a straight line is the easiest, most effective path from point A to point B. Not a fact, however, sweating like a pig is a phrase often used, and seldom do pigs sweat. They're always rolling around in the mud to keep cool. Actually, pigs are incapable of sweating. They must roll around in the mud or find some other way to cool themselves, or they'll have a heat stroke. You can, however, fart like a racehorse. Caffeine stunts your growth. It's been scientifically proven that an average dose of caffeine has no effect on your height. Caffeine does not affect growth hormones unless it is in absurd amounts, like 35 cups of straight caffeine, not 2 cups of coffee and a Mountain Dew. 35 cups of caffeine would affect your growth by killing you. Exactly, it's hard to grow when you're dead. Swallowing the gum will make it stick to the stomach. Why is it bad to swallow gum then? Or is it actually okay? My most embarrassing life story involves me getting a gumball machine for Christmas when I was 6 or 7, and essentially eating the entire machine worth of gumballs in a single day, leading to a rock-hard, ass-busting solid gum turd that scarred me emotionally for years. Swallow that one piece and live your best life though, y'all. Edit, thanks for the platinum, for sharing my lifehood cautionary tale. I feel so redeemed after 30 years of shame, haha. -ha. Hair grows back stronger after being razored off. I was told this for so long. A 12 year old has the sense to see the stubble that occurs after shaving just feels and looks more coarse because of the blunt ends. And I was taught this by every female role model like it was the gospel truth. Nah, but trimming a beard evenly will let the shorter hairs catch up and eventually it will appear thicker. Same with all haircuts. You eat 8 spiders per year while sleeping or whatever. Average person eats 8 spiders a year, factoid, actually just statistical error. Average person eats 0 spiders per year. Spiders George who lives in a cave and eats over 10,000 each day is an outlier and should not have been counted. For one person to single-handedly bring the average up by 8, they would need to eat 165 million spiders a day, that is 1,910 spiders a second with no breaks. The statistic is quite old, there, there were fewer people in his time. Hey y'all, some of you must be wondering what this is all about. Well, I am Laura, co-creator of Purse Stories. As we are constantly working on improving the channel, I've implemented some changes and tried a few things. So please share what you like or dislike in the comments. Have a nice day and catch you tomorrow.